today, working on cars. First thing we're gonna need, the jack. So what we have here are two pair of jacks because we gotta lift that car over there to fix the exhaust hanging and for this truck because we gotta work on the brakes. So we need two sets of exhaust. And we got two pieces of board, so we gotta put them one in front of each tire so that the cars don't roll away. Or in the case of the car behind the tire. Just waiting on Tyler to show up so we start working on uh, repairing some vehicles around here. It's now 9.04 a.m. Hope he didn't sleep through. Tyler just showed up. Finally. He's only like a half hour late. Explain to the uh the, the audience why you're wearing a Microsoft shirt. I'm wearing a Microsoft shirt because you need a shitty shirt. Because Microsoft's a shitty company. <laughs> but I kinda like Windows 10. <laughs> Not even a lot. He's betrayed me, he's betrayed me. <laughs> Alright, Tyler. Need you to go underneath there, under that car, with the jacks in. Count how many exhaust hangers I need. <laughs> so, starting up here to your left, there should be a catalytic converter with one hanger. You shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't have to crawl too far to be able to see them. I am underneath this car. There's another one. It uh, has a zip tie. It has a zip tie, guys. Uh, I have no comment. I have no comment. Old Betsy here. Old Betsy. Carl, what are you doing? Get my exercise in. <gasps> He's getting his workout in. Get, get that, get that uh, pump in. Oh, yeah. He has to get that late summer bod. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we have to replace on the truck. This is a brake leveling valve. So as the rear end of the vehicle gets closer to the truck bed, like when there's a heavy load, it actuates this little thing, which increases brake pressure inside this cylinder. And I think it increases more brake pressure to the rear, which comes out of here. So we got the input right here, and then we have the output for the rear. And this goes to the front. So we got to bypass this whole thing with like a T. So we can have an input here, input here, and an input here. So all of it just gets bypassed. We don't have to worry about this whole mechanical thing. But see how dirty it is and it's been leaking and all over everything and onto the ground. Yeah, basically for the past year my mom hasn't had proper brake pressure. Yeah, safety first guy. All right, so now we're off to go to Advance Auto, AutoZone, and then to a hose specialty place to get the thing for the truck. Wish us luck. That's right, that's what I thought, only one beep. All right, we're at Melville, trying to get some brake lines. Gotta go in now. There's the compound, the skateboarding ramp park here on the West Bank. Everyone thinks the West Bank doesn't have anything. They are sadly mistaken. Granted, it doesn't look very like much, but we have one. Yeah, we have to start somewhere. So, we just got done at the second Melville location. We had to go to their new store, and we got the fitting. Makes a little T. Looks like a animal's or a dog's uh, ID tag, but it's not. Anyway, now we're heading back home to get to work finally at, at 11.37 in the morning. <laughs> the hottest part of the day. Yeah. So we just got back not that long ago, and Tyler is underneath the car trying to wiggle the the little thing on, the muffler or exhaust pipe. One of the cars is a little bit higher. <laughs> We've got the one up in the front done. Now we gotta get where is it? This one done. Yes, look at my hot mess with wire wire hangers and zip ties. <laughs> Pretty much it disconnected itself. <laughs> rusted away. It rusted itself clean, y'all. Yeah. Rusted itself clean. That's why Carl's cars is gonna sound like a hot rod. Boom! So I'm here laying on the ground next to my car while Tyler does all the work because he's young and nimble. Like I used to be. He's like a damn director. Basically, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm giving my, my vision of how the car should be repaired. And he's executing it for me. Uh, uh, these aren't fire ants. Alright guys, so the crest is done. For the most part. It's... The dismantlement is done. 
Let's leave it at that. So, since the pipes didn't connect, they didn't come anywhere near connecting, so we couldn't weld, we couldn't JB weld it together. We couldn't put it to, basically they were not gonna go back together. Let's leave it at that. So what we did was, we just took off the muffler. So there it is, there's the muffler. Now there's this giant gaping hole. That's where everything was just connected to, it was right there. All right, so what we had to do was, this truck was leaking fluid from this thing. From this right here, this auto leveling valve for the brakes. So when when the tr truck got more weight in it, like call and stuff, this would actuate and put pressure onto the rear brakes. Problem is this whole thing's leaking and I don't make replacements. So what Tyler's gonna show you is we bypassed it. We took all of the brake lines out of that piece that Carl just explained, put them into our T-cylinder type deal thing. Then we took the bracket that the flex line was on and just attached it to the side of the car. So now this is just rock solid. It's not going anywhere. So now we're gonna check it for leaks. All right, so uh, we just got done uh, fixing the brakes and they're very sensitive. And uh, so we're gonna go to Advance Auto Parts and get a, um, an exhaust fitting for the Cressida, my car. And then we're gonna hit Burger King, get some food, and then come back and finish the Cressida. Almost done. Yeah, almost, almost done. done. I mean, it's what, like three o'clock in the afternoon, I think? Yeah. And we didn't really officially actually start working on it until like noon. So three and a half hours, it's not that bad. No. Could have been better if we had Pro Tools. tools. Pro yeah. Tools, yeah. Anyway, be back soon. So we're here in advance. And I can't decide, do I want the fart can exhaust? Or with the chrome truckload exhaust. No one's gonna see anything, but will this make it better? Make give me like that extra five horsepower I really need? I don't know. What do you think, Tyler? done with my car we couldn't put one of those tips on because at the end of the pipe where it severed itself was where the weld bead was on the flange so the pipe was maybe this th thick but with the bead it was this and we couldn't find anything to go over it so I just said F it and let it just open you know it's it's about four inches maybe six inches from uh, my CV shafts, the rubber boot of my CV shafts, which is kind of what I was kind of like didn't want it to do is have that hot exhaust constantly blowing on the rubber boots. But I don't drive my car that much, and then if I get a job, hopefully soon, I'll make sure to order something that's proper or maybe get a ex proper exhaust put on there. But I don't drive my car that often or very far, so whatevs. So Tyler is now about to fix some. Fix some scratches that I have caused at the bottom of his door. We bought one of these little pins. Tyler, you want to show him the pin? This thing? Yeah. One of these little pins. And uh, we're going to 
kind of clean, we're going to kind of clean the area where the scratches are at the bottom of the door and then it's supposed to then have, you can paint over it and then you have a clear coat put over it. So it has all these like functions. So Yeah, it claims to do it all, folks. Yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog here because we're pretty much done and that's pretty much the only thing we got left to do other than me take a shower and he's going to go home and take a shower and we're basically going to probably pass out because we're so tired. Yeah. We've been up since like nine. So, so I'm going to end the vlog there. So say goodbye. Bye. Au revoir.